Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is TRSKSS and welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we are going to be doing the long waited for Q&A. Now I did have this planned for 1,500 subs, but apparently for some weird reason, I gained about 500 subs in a week. So now we're doing the Q&A in celebration of 2,000 subscribers, which I happened to hit. So thank you guys so much for that. We'll talk about that at the very end of this video. But anyways, people, <clears throat> Before we start, if you guys could go ahead and, you know, help me out by answering a few of my questions, you know, my first question is if you guys could drop a like on the video, and also, my second question is maybe if you guys could go ahead and subscribe to the channel or leave a comment or something below, you know, share this video around with your friends, let them know about my channel, tell your friend Ralph that sits in the back of the classroom about me, you know, he, he wants some quality content to watch. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and get things started in the Q&A with our first question. So the first question here comes from my good friend Danny or Baja Blitz. Shout out to him, by the way. He happened to hit 2,000 as well. You know, make sure you guys go check him out if you didn't yet. And he says, hashtag AskTRSKSS, why did it take me so long to ask you this question? Well, you know, <clears throat> this is a very, very deep question that I received for the Q&A. All right, it's wanting to learn a lot about me. It's wanting to expose myself to all of you. So I had to think about this and the best way to answer it. You know, I sat at school today thinking about it. I stayed up late last night thinking about it. And I think I finally determined the answer. All right, the answer about why it took him so long to ask the question is because he's doing a Q&A himself. And I guess he doesn't have enough questions yet. So hopefully you guys could go over there on his Twitter page and ask him a few questions. But no, in all seriousness though, I have absolutely no clue why it took you so long. Like, I, I guess you gotta get better at asking me questions. No offense. Now our next question here comes from Chris, or Silencer, and he says, how did you come up with your YouTube name? Well, of course, the YouTube name that I have, TRSKSS, is a weird one because not a lot of people have heard of this name before, and they're like, oh, that's a very weird name with a bunch of weird pronunciations. But basically, it is my dad's initials, TRS, and my mom's initials, KSS, combined into one that I used for my PlayStation 3 ID, and then I just transferred it over. Now, people, something else that I do want to go ahead and bring up, you know, before we move on into the next question. You know, Chris, or Silencer, he had a YouTube channel with 3K, but he decided to go ahead and restart his uploading. Now he's uploading some really cool Call of Duty videos. So make sure you guys go check him out. All right, his channel is Silencer, and you guys will be able to check out some of his cool Call of Duty videos. Now the next question here comes from Miles W Gaming, and he says, "What are four of your main interests in life? Fishing, family, friends?" Well, Miles, of course, as you said, family is one of my biggest interests in life. You know, that's just one of the biggest ones. I think it is that way for everybody. And then another one is, of course, my friends. Now, there's people out there that I've met in real life that are super cool. And there's also people that I've met recently in the past few weeks here on this YouTube journey. And I figure, like, obviously, they've been super cool with me. I'm super cool with them. And so we, they're, they're a big part of my life. And all the people out there that support me and things like that, you know, the people I can send weird DMs to late at night, the people I can send memes to, all right, those, those guys are the true MVPs. Now, the next question here comes from Gomez, and Gomez says, what are your thoughts on your growth rate with the channel? Well, I obviously am very surprised that I happened to get 520 subs in a week. Now, of course, my little, like, predictions and stuff on Social Blade is saying that I'm going to hit 3K by the end of this year, New Year's Eve to be exact, so may maybe I'll stream it depends how close we are but I'm really happy with my growth rate I'm also really surprised but after I looked into it and found out the true reason why I was gaining so much it was because of my videos that I'd been making you know I really appreciate it and I'm so happy that people are liking my content rather than just botting me silly now the next question here comes from Key Westy, and she says, How do you stay so grounded and true to your friends and yourself with so many people trying to drag you down? Well, as I did mention, friends are a big part of my life, in addition to my family and things like that. So I basically just let the people that aren't going to like me, 
I just kind of accept the fact, because obviously, anywhere that you guys are, not every single person out there is going to like you, you're going to get hate, you're going to get mean comments, even if it's not on YouTube, you know, I'm sure that people say some mean things at your school about you. So, I just kind of stay true to the people that are true with me, if you start treating me bad, you know, I'm, I'm going to, I'm not going to be as nice to you, but that's, that's just how it is. But basically, all the people out there that are true friends, that I know that I trust, you know, maybe I let them do certain things, or I know them on a different level, then obviously, I just, I just keep talking to them, and I don't worry about the haters, because they don't know anything anyways. Now, the next question here comes from Bandit, aka the best uh, exposer out there on the internet. He has a really good channel as well. He says, want to start a war? Well, yeah, sure, why not? I mean, I guess that we all have opinions that we want to go ahead and voice out through violence and guns. So go ahead and DM me a location of a big open field. I'll go ahead and bring along my tank. You can go ahead and bring along your um, minigun, and we'll just have a big old war. Now the next question here comes from HD, and she says, Do you have a future and career in YouTube planned following your success? Well, iPugsy, to be completely honest, I actually don't really know what I want to do with YouTube. I don't I don't know if I want to have it be like a full-time job or something like that. But I know that as of right now, because I am only 15 and I can't actually get a job, that YouTube has been a great way for me to have fun while also making some money. And you guys will find that too as you guys keep growing and as you guys keep making more and more videos. Of course, you're having a lot more fun, you're meeting a lot more people, and you're getting some cash as an added bonus. Now, I'm not sure if YouTube is going to be my job in real life, but I guess we'll just have to go with the flow and see what happens. Now, the next question here comes from Tyler, and he says, Will you ever do fan meetups? Well, as you guys know, I do live in Florida, and there are some fans or friends that live around the area, you know, like Georgia, Alabama, places like that. So I obviously could meet up with some of them because they are closer to me, but for people that are chilling up in Alaska or Canada or France. I obviously couldn't go ahead and meet up with them just yet, but maybe if I ever go to like a big gaming conference, I'll be able to talk to them and get to know them a little bit better. Now people, moving on into the next question here, we do have one that is coming from my good old friend, Mr. Sernando, and he had a few couple weird questions to ask me. So first of all, you know, the question that he wanted to know is about my channel plans for 2017. So, uh, Sernando, if you're watching this, not sure if you're gonna, but basically, like I said to iPugsy, I'm just gonna kind of go ahead and go with the flow, alright, I'm gonna roll with it, I'm gonna see what happens, and kind of determine what the best thing to do for my channel is. Now, the next question here comes from Zoppel McFlipDaddy, and Zoppel says, how to kill yourself for beginners. Well, there's a very great way to do that, and if you guys listen up closely, you one day can kill yourselves as well. Basically, all you guys got to do is go down into your laundry room. You got to take out your bleach. You got to put it in little shot glasses, line it up on the counter. Then, you know, you got to get some drugs or something like that. And then you just got to do it all at once. All right, you got to do all the drugs, all the bleach. And if you guys are lucky, maybe the experiment will work. Maybe you will be killed. I, you never know. Don't actually kill yourselves. It was a joke. Now, the next question here comes from Chromos, and he says, How many times do people fail at pronouncing your name, and where is your name from? Well, I did already mention where my name is from. And a lot of people don't really, like, fail at pronouncing my name, but they're not really all too sure how to pronounce it. You know, I've had people that say each letter, I've had people that combine them, I've had people call me tricks and treks and all these different things. Basically, you guys can call me whatever you want, whatever is easiest for you. Okay, if you guys prefer to call me the scumbag of the world, the Haitian scum, then that's alright. I mean, you guys can call me whatever you want, as long as you're not calling me a, a clickbaiter. But anyways, people, let's go ahead and move on into our next question here. And boy, oh boy, did we get a lot of questions for this Q&A. But this question comes from Uday, I think his name is. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. But he says, will you ever get an Xbox One? Well, you know, I do I do already have an Xbox One, actually. 
and to be completely honest, you know, don't really play it on that all that much. So here's what I want you guys to do. If you guys have an Xbox One, put your gamer tag down below in the description. Tell me what games you have. And if I have some similar games as you, I'll add a few of you up on there. You know, I'm probably going to get Forza Horizon 3, because why not? And I'll add some of you guys up on there. We can play, and you guys can get to know me a little bit better through there. Now, the next question here comes from Charles, and he says, Who are your inspirations for YouTube? Name a big YouTuber and a smaller YouTuber. Well, since you did ask for a bigger and a smaller, if it, you didn't ask, I would just say my bigger one. But the big YouTuber that I watch a lot, you know, I love most of the videos on his channel, I especially love his Super Cooper Sunday series, is T. Martin. And I know that some of you guys out there might not like him after the whole CSGO thing, but I've kind of moved past it. Obviously, it wasn't cool that he lied, and that's not something that I really look up to that much. But I do think that he's just a really cool person. He's super nice and friendly to his fans. He interacts with them. He's liked my tweets and things like that. And it's cool to see how he changed his life by doing something that he loves. And So I think that that's really cool how he can have all this cool stuff now because he kept working harder. So he's definitely one of my inspirations on YouTube, one of the big YouTubers that I watch in addition to all the other ones that you guys probably watch, you know, like Scarce and Keem and a little, like Roman Atwood and things like that, all the big YouTubers. FaZe Rain. All right, FaZe Apex, FaZe Banks, the whole FaZe Clan, Casey Neistat, all the people out there that you guys watch, they all inspired me. And since you did ask about a smaller YouTuber, you know, I did already bring it this person up in the Q&A. And, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to make the whole Q&A about them. But, you know, my good friend Baja Blitz was a huge inspiration to me and still is at times because I watched him back when he had like 200 subs or something like that. And I thought, oh, it's super cool that he can do it. A smaller YouTuber out there. And I just was able to see how, you know, anybody can really do it. Your channel starts off small and it grows because that's something that a lot of people don't think. A lot of people just think that YouTubers wake up one day with one million subs. But it's really a long journey with that. And it's cool because, you know, he was an inspiration to me. And now I get to, like, stream with him and things like that. So that's super cool that I get to do it. And big shout out to him. Now the next question here is our final question of the Q&A. And this question comes from Chase, and he says, what are some of your biggest tips on YouTube? Well, I'd have to say that my first tip is, of course, choose something, start up your channel, and if you guys are passionate about it, continue. You might not get great growth within the first few months or something like that. You know, I started my channel, my first ever upload was in February. Now those videos have since been privated and things like that, and I really worked hard on it starting in June. But over the course of the summer, I gained about 250 subs. And if you guys think about it with the way that I'm growing now and stuff like that, it's really not that great, but it was great for me back then. And it was cool to know that even though my videos were hitting like 25 views, I was still entertaining you guys out there. So that is, of course, one of my biggest inspirations is if you guys like this, if you guys even want to do it, try it out. And if you guys enjoy it, stick with it because it's a great way to just interact with people and get to know a lot of people. Now, obviously, don't do it for the money. All right, I'll tell you guys that in my first six months of doing YouTube, I barely made anything. You know, there was a month that I uploaded a video a day straight, getting like 25 views on a video. And at the end of the month, I made like $3.47. So don't do it just because you guys hear that there's money to be made. Obviously there is if you guys keep working hard and if you guys have your videos do well, but don't just rely on it for the money. Don't think that you're going to come out of nowhere with zero subs and get a thousand dollars just because your video got five views. Now another thing is of course meet people along the way. Don't be that YouTuber out there that doesn't want to interact with anybody. Don't be that YouTuber that just no one wants to be around. Be friendly to people. Obviously if they're not friendly to you, don't waste your time with them. But meet people out there because, as I said, you know, I've streamed with my inspiration. I've met so many other people out here that have given me some tips. They've been like, oh, well, your mic is a little quiet. Do this. Or, oh, hey, did you know that you can use some editing software and do this? Or, hey, you can use Photoshop to create your thumbnail. 
all right? This is all stuff that I didn't really know back in the day, but they taught me. They're like, I can get you some channel art, you know? Scott, I see you out there. I see you out, your, out there with that channel art. So, guys, make sure that you get to know people. There's going to be people out there that are smaller than you. You know, some of my fans are smaller than me, but I still talk to some of them. And then, of course, there is going to be people out there that have a similar amount of subs as you, and you guys can, like, stream and get to know them. You know, make some friends with it, because it's a lot of fun. And now the last and final thing that I do want to say is, of course, don't waste all your money on YouTube. All right, guys. Even if you are coming from the richest family, even if your dad is Bill Gates, don't go out there just because you think that you want to start a YouTube and buy, like, the fanciest channel art creator and then, like, a great Elgato HD60 and then go ahead and buy the best mic out there. All right, start small. My first 250 subs, I was live streaming off the PS4. I was using the PS4 cam camera that's inside of the system, and I was you know, talking with the little tiny mic that they give you. So anybody can do it. Start small, and as you guys get bigger, then things will just be better for you. All right, people, so the last question here in the Q&A comes from HD Predator. Shout out to him as well. You know, he's pretty he's pretty amazing, not going to lie. He makes some, some pretty dope stuff, so make sure that you go check him out. But he says, where do you see yourself in a couple of years? Well, as I said... Back in the earlier part of the Q&A, you know, I'm not sure if I'm going to still be doing YouTube. I'm obviously going to finish school. I got two and a half years left of that for those guys that don't know. I am in 10th grade, and then I'm probably going to go to college. Well, most likely, you know, probably a 99% chance that I'll go. And I'll just keep going from there. Maybe I'll have a great YouTube channel then. Maybe, maybe it won't. Maybe I'll just be some person of your imagination that you guys never see upload again like red key mon but anyways guys that's really all i have for today's q a i'm so happy that i got to hit 2000 subs so thank you guys so much for that shout out to all the people that i've met along the way all the people that you know i talk to on a day-to-day -day basis you guys know who you are you're all really really great people and i'm so happy that i got to meet you guys in addition to some of my fans all right i have so many active fans out there and it's cool to see how because i kept working i finally hit 2000 subs now a little piece of advice that i have for you guys maybe you're maybe you already have a youtube channel maybe you guys got 7000 subs and you're watching the video i don't even know but just keep working hard no matter what all right, guys, nothing's going to happen if you just sit there and think about what you want to do well. You guys have to get out there. You have to make the impact. You guys have to be passionate about what you do. And if you guys do all of that, everything else is going to fall into place. All right, 95% of success is your mindset and your work ethic. So you guys can control both of those. All right, keep, keep it up if you guys are making content. Don't quit. You guys are going to be You guys are going to be where I am eventually even though I'm only at 2,000. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for all of the support recently. It's absolutely amazing. And if you guys like little videos like this, make sure to drop a like and leave me your questions down below in the comments for the next episode of the Q&A. I'll see you guys later on. Peace out.